told me four or five months ago during lockdown that I'd be able to go to Juicy Oasis this year after having it cancelled in May and I'd be standing there about to go to Juicy Oasis for a week in August in the summer and to know that Jason Bow is going to be there I wouldn't have believed you and I'd have said well I'll take that every day but I'm here and it's real it's finally happened and who would have thought I'd be wearing a mask it's going to be the longest time wearing a mask in the airport on the flight on the transfer three hour flight out to Lisbon two hour uh, transfer but I'm going to have time my life I've been looking forward to this for three years ever since I first come across Jason Bell and I'll tell you what a little bit nervous obviously traveling on my own um, no one out there I know but I'm so glad I've been to Atlanta I've been to America because experience is everything and it makes it a little bit easier because this was meant to be my first trip alone but thankfully it's not um, but yeah it's good it's a good thing to do always but going here really just for everything you know it's, it's the structure it's you know experience I've never done you know seven full days just on liquid you know juices blends all of that so it's going to be a real good test of everything mind body um, also meeting Jason Bell I want to ask him many things you know I want to try and do a little interview with him I want to try and do uh, ask him about an affiliate scheme that he can do because obviously I want to sell products and do loads of things with my juicing and I want to reignite that passion for it as well so with that said I'm going to get in the airport a bit of different experience but it'll be worth it I'm so glad I can go because it didn't look like it just a few weeks ago even this week you know for things to change so quickly I could have thought it but anyway let's get in there I'll talk to you a bit. I'm always a bit scared about doing filming here. <laughs> I told off once. Um, you know when you feel like you've got something missing because you go through security? <laughs> anyway, we'll get through the gate. I'll talk to you then. It's amazing, isn't it, when you rush and you think you're going to be late, like really late, and then you're really early. Um, some of the shops are open here, actually, so it's all right. Um, I'll just show you this one's just walking past. Now I can show you. <laughs> but uh, what I would say is, you know, ordinarily, um, we'd have gone on holiday this summer, and, you know, I don't see this as a holiday as such. It's a health retreat, you know. It's only people have gone away to like Spain and have to quarantine, but they're going away for a normal holiday. This isn't a normal traditional holiday, it's a health retreat. Um, and I'm going there half for a relaxation, but for a reset, uh, but half to meet Jason Bowne. That's a career move, really. But you know, it's been tough the last few months finishing university and I felt a bit burnt out. And as the motto says, sometimes the only way forward is to retreat. So, um, yeah, and I quiet here but what I've realized is you know sometimes when things are uncertain you have to act anyway and I booked these flights before the quarantine was announced but I had faith it would be and it was but I think sometimes in life when you act despite fear despite certainty despite the unknown if you act you'll get rewarded in some way and I was and it wasn't guaranteed but yeah um, the flights went up so much in price as well so thankfully um, but the thing is, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I can't believe I'm going to Juicy Oasis. It's going to be really tough to then, when I get there, you know, Jason Bell's going to be there. I look up to this guy. But I thought to myself, you know, once you're in that environment, you know, I'm doing everything here from trying to abstain from my phone, abstain from bad food, seven days of juice, never done that. I've lost the habit a little bit at home, and this is going to force me to do it. So all the better. You know, I've never done, I've done three days, which is good because I'm conditioned for that. Beyond that, it's the unknown. But I know it'll be it'll be something brilliant so just gonna have a look around and I'll talk to you just before I get on the plane. It's a bit weird coming back to an airport. The last time I came here was uh, to go to Italy but the thing is when I went to like Atlanta coming here you know what I see it as is a little mission and because I see it that way because I've got you know things I want to get out of it and it's sort of like a, a game and you know and I, I come back with a result that's the intention but, um, you know, it's funny now I'm here, now it's happening. You think to yourself, why did I worry in the first place? You know, they say most things you worry about never even happen. And uh, it's good to worry. I mean, not everything, some things you worry about will happen. It's good to be prepared for the 
worst, but you hope for the best. But, um, you know, I was a little bit resistant at first to, you know, things like wearing a mask and, you know, even traveling, because you didn't know, you thought if you got this virus, you'd guaranteed to drop down dead. But like, like anything, like, there's no guarantees, good or bad. But you have to be able to deal with the uncertainty anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's now 8.39. I don't know if Grand Abuse is open, we'll have a look. Check back in a second. It says, um, I'll be how quiet it is. It says go to gate. By the way, I'm doing seven days of no food here. Only juices, blends, soups and salads. So it'll be tough, it'll be worth it. documenting you know I haven't even edited loads of my videos but so many times I think I shouldn't film I should just enjoy myself but then I look back and I think I'm so glad I filmed it so that's why I film it's good to do it it keeps me in practice and keeps me sharp in terms of talking and presenting as well so I'm at the gate it's tempting to um, take my mask off but it's asking for it isn't it if you're doing a video and you take your mask down the last thing I want to do is not get on the flight I've almost had my flight um, booking forfeited anyway because I left it so late because obviously because of the quarantine. There's my flight or that one. Whatever one. I had to pay for £25 more as well to have this bag because apparently it's too big. I mean, it's quite normal isn't it to have to pay more. Um, the spending's kind of the window in the last few days. Spent nothing for months. There's, there's a cryotherapy thing here and I want to use, use that. Uh, 75 euros but it'd be worth it. I've never done it. Gary Barlow's done it. Sunny celebrities have been here, Gary Barlow, Ollie Murs. Ollie Murs has been to my dad's gym actually, for physio. But um, yeah, I want to I wanna improve everything on all fronts. There's, there's loads of things I want to improve in here. My sleep, my nutrition, my habits, my structure, my routine, my um, character development, you know, talking to a Jason Val, probably, you know, my top three role models. So it's a big deal. But thankfully, I've done things like Jack Collison. I've done my degree. Um, so yeah, and that's something I've always thought to myself is, you know, I always think to myself, oh, I've got all these things to do before I leave. I'm not going to get them all done. And I thought I'm going to be stressed when I get out there. And then I, I thought of a saying which rhymes, and I thought it's true actually. Once you're there, you won't care. What I mean by that is, you know, all the stresses you can leave them behind. You know, I'm not saying that, you know. You won't be stressed at times, but that's why I go here to get away from the stress because I'm not escaping, I'm more just resetting and um, so I can come back and attack those challenges, problems better than ever. And uh, that's, the, that's the idea of it. And this isn't just a holiday, as I say, this is a complete mind and body reset. So here we go. And I'm also trying to go off grid. As Gary V would say, he said, I'm going seven days off the phone. And the thing is, I always feel like I'm gonna miss out but I always look at it and think well how many ideas have really radically changed my life so far just from social media not not many so I can go without it I won't miss out on too many things So we've arrived, I went through the gate just then, it wouldn't let me through and I was like, is that because it's not part of the EU or something? And then it wouldn't work again, finally I got through and then I was like, do I have to take my mask off? I don't want to do that, they'll probably shoot me. <laughs> but then it, it, did it, without, it did it with the mask on, so. Anyway, I've been to Lisbon once before for a football trip. Everyone's looking at you here like as if like intruders, invaders. But uh, nice blue skies. A little bit early, but the transfer might be there. Who knows? If not, we just wait. 
and uh, hopefully there's no temperature test or at least no COVID test. I don't know what's over the other side over there, but we'll see. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All these gloves are playing on my hands are like when you go swimming. Anyway, still going down Smith places. You're never there till you're there, are you? What I like about this trip is I'm here for one reason, and that is, you know, for two reasons, my health in a nutshell, and also to meet Jason Val. It's nice, I'm seeing adverts of shopping malls and, you know, other stuff, and normally, you know, you'd be able to go and drive down there, walk down there, be with my parents, but no distraction, you focused on a mission here, so that's what's good. Let's go and get my bag. I don't know whether to, um, the toilet or not. I need it. I didn't go on the plane. I thought, don't fancy that. Let's press the button as well. But I can't, I can't sit on that transfer for two hours, can I? If needs must, I suppose. Um, I saw this testing going on as I came off the flight. It was almost like people going back out. I'm not sure. But I was like, it looked like some some torture thing or something. I was like, it looked like some proper blood test. I was like, I don't want that. Don't the bag right here ahead of schedule. I think the day will start properly tomorrow when we get there, so yeah, I'll talk to you probably in the transfer. Maybe it's a deserted toilet. Wash your hands. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Let's go get it. Come here. Come in. Just stopped off um, a food place. The last food I have, well, normal food as such. Going to the healthy stuff. Even got this mango drink. And uh, thankfully I'll be having the fresh stuff, but I need something. I couldn't just wait until the retreat and then just have a juice. <laughs> um, I think you get a blend or soup, whatever, but this is the last supper. <laughs> just getting a croissant. Um, and yeah, it'd be good if the transfer was there right waiting for me. But we'll see. If not, we'll just wait. There's no harm in it. It's not too busy, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. No turning back now. We're here. Well, I remember it actually from before. Um, football trip. Quite funny, I was doing a video back from the food place. She was like, Oh, are you YouTuber doing a vlog? And I was like, Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> it's the easiest thing to say, isn't it? Um, it just shows you, you know, around the world, you know, everyone knows what YouTube is. As much as there's differences when you travel, there's also a lot of similarities. So, um, can't see anyone for the transfer. I don't know how often they run. I was waiting out. It's so early in flight. Um, I'm doing this standing here, like feeling like a lemon because you never know if security guys are going to come up to you for some weird reason, but I feel quite confident actually. Normally, like, I remember I went to Atlanta, I was like, oh, I'll, have, I'll have different confidence there, and then I was like, I feel the same. But here, I feel alright. I think it's because I realise I've got to face Jason Vale in a good way, so I need to rise up so I'm in that state for it. But um, I can only eat my food. Find me off. It's not bad this. I feel like I can go into the jungle now. Mm. At least you're getting actually proper nutrition. So obviously I'm through the gate. I'm thinking how am I meant to see the guy or woman with the transfer thing if I'm the other side? The guy just walked past as well and he had his mask down and he's on cotton or something. <laughs> um, we'll get there. Walk around with a GCSS on myself, didn't know how that worked. Match that. Bit of broadcasting, like that. She was put on a standard journey plane right. uh, to try and control the convulsions.
I've waited for this moment for a very, very long time. But it's come true. I'm in my little pod. <laughs> I'm in my little eco-pod. This is my room for the next seven nights. Finally made it to Juicy Oasis. Just had the tour. Wow. Can't leave them here. <laughs> this is brilliant. Look, you've got all this all. Tour was great as well. All just salad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be into salads after this. It's a good thing, I suppose. Already like red into some mask, I suppose. Um, yeah, the tour was really good by a girl called Melissa. Told her that I do the did the academy. Look, she's got a little bag. I'll do a proper tour. Just taking in at the moment, settling in. But yeah, finally made it to Juicy Oasis, and Jason Vow is here apparently. He's giving a low profile, but he's doing the talk tomorrow. So happy days, as they say. Um, I'm gonna go and explore myself now. Got a juice as well. Tell you what, <laughs> when mine's like that a little bit, it's nowhere near as bad as ours, so that's bad. They they clean them all the time. This one says Juice Master Retreats. Well, I'm empty, pop me in the nearest juice bin. <laughs> Don't know what juice this is. Let's have a quick look. They serve them in these because you don't want to get the light and the oxygen to it. Oh, it's a carrot based one. That's that's the true test of taste here. <clears throat> oh, fresh. Got a kick to it. Sorry, I thought someone was coming, walking past then. It's very peaceful, the views are amazing. I'm gonna have this juice, have my salad, and have a look around. I've not um, had a juice in ages as well, so it's gonna get me back in the habit, which is good. And um, even though in some ways I want to go off my phone, I'll, I'll reduce my social media a lot and I'll still be documenting because I want to look back on this and think, wow, what else can I do? So, and I'll always look back on it and remember it, but I want to enjoy it as well. Just have three things on my mind. Um, number one, this is exactly how I envisioned it, so which is good, and there'll be more to see. Number two, oh, obviously I'm quite grateful Jason's here as well. Number two, oh, we've got this Create Magic book as well. Wish I hadn't read it now. I tried to get loads of them, I just get a ticket to come here, but uh, my way here in the end. Um, we're watching documentaries each night, some of them I'm seen, but like Tony Robbins says, dig the groove deeper by relearning things, you pick up things a second time. But right now, I remember a quote once and it said, why don't you just experience the waterfall? You don't have to take a photo of it all the time, experience it. So I'm just gonna go have a walk around and then I'll show you around. Uh, either today or during the week. I never thought I'd be in a salad. It's nice though, goat's cheese, caramelised onion, tomatoes. I like why they have fruit now, they taste like a bit like an apple with a bit of vegetable taste. <laughs> anyway, setting in here nicely. Just picked up another juice. Green one, green refresher, I think. It's lovely. Salad. Got enough. Got more than enough here. <laughs> I don't think I'll be saying that in a couple of days though. I don't, I don't know if the salad's the thing that you pay for. I think it adds some salad to the bill and I think it's just something when you get here. I think apart from that, it's just like ju juices and blends. So, uh, this is just a start. <laughs> it's really strange. I looked in my case just now and I saw a little dime, USA. United States of America. I didn't even take that bag to America. I didn't even pack that. Is that a sign that I'm going back? I really hope so. That is, once I've done this, I'm so grateful I'm here. I really want the next stop to be America. Nothing would make me happier than to be back with the girl of my dreams, Megan. So, don't stop believing. Just saw this girl who was playing tennis. She looked quite good actually, like at tennis. And um <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just said that like that. Um, <laughs> um I can't believe what I was gonna say, I'm at home here. Um Yeah, about the blonde girl. So I saw her and with her mum, I said hello. And I'll probably get to see her, that's why I wasn't too fussed about making a big deal of it now because they're here to stay, aren't they? But 
probably get to know them, probably find out a decent girl, and then they're from fucking Manchester. <laughs> Very rare, isn't it? They're from Essex, isn't it? I don't really remember anyone ever said I'm from Essex, even if they were. To be fair, to be fair, that girl from PSA, Andy Harrington, um, she was, yeah, she was from Romford, so. You never know, that's why I have to try. So, blonde tennis girl, here we come. So, it is 7.45 in the evening, and not only am I free to do what I want, but the spa, the gym, whatever, is open 24 hours, so I'm gonna go for a nice jacuzzi, and then sit by the lake, and just reflect, and reminisce, and enjoy the moment. Let's go. So I was just um, looking at the board, and there's this girl who I saw earlier on, and I heard her mum say, oh, Faye, so I've seen it on the list, and I've swapped my name as an empty. Hopefully everyone knows me. Um, I put my name on the first session for the yoga now, so yeah. Meant to be going for a walk with these people I met two hours later. It can't be a good conversation, though. Um, but yeah, going to get some sleep now. I'll see you tomorrow. Day, day, well, day one starts tomorrow, really. Today was just settling in. See you tomorrow. Sorry, one last thing. I've just been so wrapped up in the conversations here, but that's that's what I like about it. So many benefits, but one of them is socialising with people, like-minded people. What I wanted to say was tomorrow is a big day, a massive day. And I've waited for that time for a long time, and that is I'm going to meet Jason Bell, meet the ju my juice master. Um, I'm so excited, but I need some good sleep. Not only do I want to meet him, I want to, you know, I want to have a photo with him. I want to with my certificate as well. I want to get him to follow me on Instagram. Um, I've got it all laid out. You know, I want to I want to interview him. So many things I want to do. But step by step, meet him first. Yeah, so he knows who I am. He might have an idea who I am. But the person I was talking to just then, the um, couple I was talking to, he follows her. So I was, I was saying to myself, you know, it's all a story. I was saying to myself, well, is it a bit much to ask him to follow me? And I thought, no, ask it. And the worst thing he can say is no, but he's not going to. So, but it's still a good test of character, but also it's a, it means a lot to me. And if I come across that way, then hopefully he'll agree. I might quickly dip in the sauna because it's open 24 hours. But yeah, big day tomorrow, meeting Jason Val, the juice master. Cannot wait. So I've just got back in the pod. And I tell you what, I've, I've envisioned this for so long and it feels like I can't have actually live in a dream. Um, I realise where that's, that saying comes from now. A bit like that Inception film I saw last week. Um, it's not a new film, it's an old film. Um, obviously they're showing old films at the cinema, but despite all the odds, I'm so glad to be here. Um, you know, I was, I was quickly going to do this video because I've got back to the pod because it is a pod, there's no toilet, and the toilet's in the main building. Actually, no, there's not, that's not true. There's one down a little alleyway, so I'm gonna go there. It's a course to 10, and I'm going to sleep, everyone else is, so it's like, well, that's the logical thing to do. So, big benefit, probably the biggest reason I've come here, in terms of health, is sleep. Get quality sleep, time sleep, you know, on time sleep, you know, wake up at a decent time, structure. It's quite funny, I asked about if they've got scales here, and she was like, no, we don't have scales. She's like, it's not about that, it's about how you feel. I was like, oh, I was just curious, but she said to have photos taken. So yeah, um, lots to do, won't get it all done. Not about perfection, it's about progress. Good night. I really have to appreciate this because this was not looking likely at all. So I'm gonna appreciate every moment of every second here. I cannot take it for granted and I don't take it for granted. I'm just looking up at the stars. The best is yet to come.